I grew up in Gibraltar, UK, and I moved here when I was 19 to go to MTSU. So I grew up in a very musical household. Um, my dad played a million instruments and everyone in my family liked to get together and play music together, which heavily influenced me as a person. And um, it was just great living though. We had a beach right next to our apartment. We have wild monkeys, which is <laughs> really random, but I think it's really cool and just, it's just a beautiful place to grow up. I'd say I have two favorite songs that I've ever written. Or three. I can't really choose, but the first two that come to mind is um, one that I recently wrote. It's called Howl at the Moon. And um, I wrote it over the summer. It's your typical sad breakup song, <laughs> but um, it's, it's just one of my favorites because of the hook line, Howl at the Moon. I just love that um, hook. And then my other one is probably one I wrote when I was about 15 um, called Johnny's Lake. And it's, um, I feel like every female country artist needs a murder song. And this is my murder song. <laughs> so yeah, probably those two. My writing process is honestly different almost every time. Like sometimes I'll just randomly come up with the lyrics and a melody in my mind that I can't get out of my head all day. And then I finally like get chords to it and carry on from there or sometimes I'll be playing the guitar and playing a few chords that I like and then add on a melody from there but usually I start off with lyric ideas but it's not always the same. So when I was about 13, I wrote a song called Where Did She Go? That was basically speaking about me and how I didn't feel at home where I was um, and how I felt really different from everybody and how I wanted to run away to Nashville and be <laughs> live my country dream. <laughs> and um, then the chorus mainly is referring to when I would leave, if anyone would actually question where I was or even notice that I was gone. Where did she go? Where did she go? Oh, 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 oh. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Oh, oh, oh. I got into country music because of Taylor Swift when I was a kid. I was probably about 9, 10, probably younger when I started listening to her. And then she, when she was country, um, through listening to her music, I found other musicians like Miranda Lambert, Johnny Cash, Casey Musgraves. And um, so it was kind of difficult growing up somewhere where music was not a thing to really go for and people listen to the complete opposite type of music that you do. Pull the trigger one night, is he said I don't need no one. I was 10 years old when I knew that I was going to move to Tennessee eventually. And it was never like an if, it was a when. Um, so by the time I was like 15, I was looking at um, MTSU and the courses that they had available to take. Um, but my biggest fear when doing all of that was honestly failing. Like, um, I come from, Gibraltar is a very, very, very small place. Um, it's, the entire country is only 30,000 people and all eyes are on everyone at all times. So I was worried that I had been speaking about moving to Nashville and being a country songwriter and a country singer for so many years and then Coming here and failing, that was honestly my biggest fear. One morning the sun just starts shining. So after graduating, ideally I'd like to stay here. I'm definitely going to um, apply for a work visa after doing my OPT program, which is basically a program that allows international students to work in the US in that field of study for a year after they graduate. So after that, I'd like to apply for a work visa and then hopefully stay here and continue my career in the music industry. If I could speak to anyone that had the exact same dream as me, I would tell them to just go for it. It doesn't matter if people make fun of you for wearing cowboy boots in the Mediterranean. Like, <laughs> just do whatever makes you happy and just keep fighting for it because if you really want to do something, you can if you work for it. <laughs>